when AI images stop looking like AI, this is what happens. Look at these examples. At first, they might pass as normal photos, but they're actually generated with AI. The difference here is in the details. The skin doesn't have that plastic, shiny look anymore, and the colors aren't oversaturated. Instead, everything feels more balanced, more natural, and much closer to what you'd expect from real photography. It's not about creating perfect beauty shots, it's about getting images that carry a natural vibe. And here is the best part. With this amazing model and my face swap workflow, the one I showed you in the previous videos and many of you have already tested, you can take these open art images and replace the face with anyone you want. That means creating your own realistic influencer has never been easier. In this video, I'll walk you through how this new model works. I really appreciate if you like the video right now and subscribe the channel for my next fantastic tutorials. What kind of results it delivers and how you can combine it with face swap for even more powerful results. Let's go. This new model has just been added to OpenArt, a platform that keeps surprising me with its updates. In my opinion, it's one of the best tools for anyone working with AI in image or video generation. Even if you have a powerful system, OpenArt makes it possible to work smoothly. And honestly, even though I have a strong PC myself, I still use OpenArt a lot because the speed of generating both images and videos is incredible. So today, I'm here to introduce you to this amazing new model called OpenArt Photorealistic. After just a few test generations, I was genuinely impressed. The realism in these images is on another level compared to any model you've tried before, even Quinn and Kriya. The focus here isn't on cinematic or stylized results, but on creating natural everyday photos the kind of images anyone could capture with a phone in their hand. The potential uses are obvious, brand building and even creating virtual influencers with images that feel believable to your audience. When your content looks real instead of AI generated, it builds trust and directly impacts sales. From my own experience with branding, I can tell you, you need to create images and videos that minimize the AI vibe and maximize realism. And that's exactly what this new model delivers. So let's jump into OpenArt and see how we can start using it. To use this new model on OpenArt, it's really simple. Just follow the link I've placed in the description of this post. That link will take you directly to OpenArt if you haven't signed up yet, you will need to create an account and choose your plan. Once you're logged in, you can click on the Create Photo option to enter the Image Generation section. Here you'll notice a menu that allows you to select which model you'd like to use for generating images. When I click on it, you'll see a list of many different models. And this is one of the best features of OpenArt, they bring together all the top image generation models in one place. You don't need to sign up on multiple websites or manage separate accounts. Everything is right here, including Flux Pro, Flux Korea, and even Quan. But the highlight is definitely this new model, OpenArt Photorealistic, which produces much more realistic and natural results. I selected here. From here, it's very straightforward. In the prompt field, you just type your prompt, one important thing to know about this model is that you don't need to over-explain your prompt. You don't need to write ultra-realistic photo with perfect lighting conditions, blah, blah, blah. Just keep it simple. Subject, action, environment, and maybe lighting. That's enough. Because by default, this model is already tuned to give you realistic photos. And if you want to make your images look even more natural and casual, almost like something taken with an iPhone, just add that at the end of your prompt. It's worked really well. Below the prompt field, you can also set the image size from the ready-made option. And in the next part, 
you can select how many images you'd like to generate from one up to four at a time. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you about the image cost for this model in OpenArt. Look, each image costs 15 credits, okay? And the basic plan of the OpenArt costs you $14 for 4,000 credits. That means each image cost is only $0.05, which is a very low cost. That means you can generate more than 265 images for only $14. Now, here is the good news. The images you generate with this model come in a very large size by default. Sounds great, right? That means you don't need to upscale them at all. Normally, upscaling costs you either extra money on certain websites or extra time and energy if you're doing it on your own system. But here, that problem is gone. For example, if I hover my mouse over this image I just generated with OpenArt Photorealistic, you will see the resolution is about 2016 pixels wide and 1152 pixels tall. That's already a high resolution image generated in seconds. So you get the quality you need without any additional upscaling. This is another advantage of open art. It delivers high quality results right from the start. And as you can see in these examples, the photos look incredibly natural and realistic, which makes them perfect for branding and social media use. Now, if you compare this model to Flux Korea and Kuen, all of which are well known for producing very realistic images, the difference becomes clear. Let's take the same prompt and look at three outputs side by side. Okay, with OpenArt Photorealistic, the image looks much more natural and true to life. The other, while powerful in their own way, often lean towards a cinematic vibe with a stylized color and reveal their AI generated. For example, Quen tends to struggle with skin texture and natural tones, making it obvious that it's an AI image. Those models are still very strong, but in their own areas. So if your goal is to create images that are almost indistinguishable from real photos, OpenArt Photorealistic is the best choice. Here's another example. I used the same prompt about Samurai and when you compare the outputs from Quen, Kriya, and this new open art model, again, the open art model clearly delivers the most natural and believable result. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. And one more thing to keep in mind, if you choose a higher open art plan, you'll also get additional discounts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.